A patient at Good Hope Hospital in Sutton Coalfield has become one of the first in the region to be given a revolutionary treatment for high blood pressure. The technique called renal denervation involves sending radio waves into the kidneys. Well, doctors believe it could lower people's blood pressure for life and cut the risk of them having heart attacks and strokes. Sarah Falkland reports. Just last week, Paula Fielding's blood pressure was dangerously high. Despite years of medication, she's at serious risk of having a heart attack or stroke. She's having it checked today, though, after becoming one of only three people in the West Midlands to have undergone a revolutionary operation. I only had fears about the pain, <laughs> and obviously there was none because, you know, it was controlled, but um, that was fine. I, I was just going to go for anything I could because, you know, obviously I wanted to be corrected and be better for me. Doctors at the Good Hope Hospital in Sutton Coalfield used keyhole surgery techniques to send radio waves through her kidneys. They targeted sympathetic nerves, the involuntary nerves which can impact on blood pressure levels. In two to three months they'll know if her blood pressure is lowered and it could be permanent. We believe it to be permanent. Um, the data thus far is around three years, so we've got some patients who've had this for three years in which the blood pressure response remains good uh, for three years. Whether they grow back or not, we don't know yet. The operation is done under local anaesthetic and takes just 45 minutes. What's more, it costs just £5,000. This is one of three stroke wards at Good Hope Hospital and currently there are 36 patients here. It costs the NHS on average around a million pounds per admission. So you can see that the cost implications of this new procedure are enormous. 39% of people in the West Midlands have high blood pressure. That's the highest of any English region. Nationally, around 16 million people suffer with hypertension. Already, Paula's blood pressure is showing signs of lowering. I wanted to do it because I want to come off all the, you know, all of the tablets if I can and have a better quality of life, really. These patients have already suffered strokes, but the new technique could one day be used to prevent them having another. Sarah Falkland, BBC Midlands Today, in Sutton Coalfield. Well, Dr Indranil Dasgupta is a consultant at Heartlands Hospital. He pushed to get the procedure here after hearing about successful trials in Australia. Thanks very much indeed for joining us today. We've heard that this is a big problem in our region, high blood pressure. So just how significant is this particular procedure? Well, this is quite an exciting uh, new treatment for uh, people with difficult to control blood pressure, as we what we call um, resistant hypertension, people needing three or more drugs to... Um, to control their blood pressure uh, to the target levels, and um, and we've and that in our hospital uh, we have at least 20% of patients that that come to the hypertension clinics for uh, high blood pressure have resistant hypertension, and these people have very high risk of stroke and and heart attacks in the long run and kidney failure, and so this we hope will will reduce the risk of uh, them developing these conditions in the long term. People that have high blood pressure might be thinking this sounds fantastic you know I hope I can get this treatment yes. but will people around the region be able to receive this treatment well, in due course? This is not a treatment that will be offered to any patient with hypertension. It's people that have very difficult to control blood pressure um, and, um, and so yes the people that have uh, you know a, a significantly raised blood pressure despite being on three, four. There are patients that are on six blood pressure tablets. For example, the patient that we've uh, we've seen today in the clip, uh, she's one of my patients who is who is on six blood pressure tablets. Yet her blood pressure is as high as 180 over 120 when I last saw her in the clinic before the procedure was done. So these are the patients that will benefit from rather than an, you know anyone with high blood pressure. Indeed, we have to leave it there. But thank you very much indeed, Dr. Daskupta. Thank you. Still ahead this evening.